It's 10 trivia questions on Stanley Kubrick and chess piece answers. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show, and thanks for telling a friend who loves trivia to give it a listen. It's a great way to study for your weekly trivia night, and maybe some questions will even overlap wherever you play. And you're like, hey, I heard that on the Trivia with Buds podcast, and here's how we're going to get those points for that question. I tend to uh, hear trivia questions that I know the answer to out in the world or on TV and things, and I'm like, man... I know some stuff. And then I go to play a trivia night and they don't ask any of those questions. I feel like that is the universal world of trivia. Uh, you know some stuff, you don't know a lot of other stuff, and sometimes it pops up and works out, sometimes it doesn't. But this is a great study aid nonetheless. 1,800 episodes, no paywall. But if you want the show completely ad free for a dollar a month, you can join the Patreon, patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Go check it out. And uh, let me know if you need any help setting up that ad-free RSS feed once you are signed up. Today's episode is a dual episode from Poor House Trivia. That's patreon.com slash poorhouse, P-O-U-R-H-O-U-S-E, trivia. And my friend Matt Frost runs that. He posts a full trivia game every single day of the week. Full trivia game every day of the week and uh, tons of great content there. Handouts you can download, all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, you should go sign up. If you like my show, especially if you're a trivia host, lots of awesome uh, custom-made content just for you. Before we get to that, we've got a letter, and that letter is J. We have items you save up to buy, things you replace, and personality traits. Items you save up to buy, things you replace, and personality traits, all starting with J. Listen for my three J answers at the end of the episode, along with the fun fact of the day about uh, dresses. All right, we're all warmed up, we're ready, and we're diving into this quiz on Stanley Kubrick and answers that are also a chess piece. Here we go. All right, first five questions about Stanley Kubrick. Let's see what you know. Number one, A Slave of the First Century B.C. is the title chapter of which epic film directed by Kubrick? Number one, A Slave of the First Century B.C. is the title character of which epic film directed by Kubrick? Number two, which three-word term is defined as a lead bullet encased in a harder metal, such as steel? Number two, which three-word term is defined as a lead bullet encased in a harder metal surface, such as steel? Number three, starring two performers who were married to each other at the time. What was the final film directed by Kubrick? Number three, starring two performers who were married to each other at the time. What was the final film directed by Kubrick? Number four, in the film Dr. Strangelove, a character played by Slim Pickens rides which object through the air while Hooten and Waven a cowboy hat? Number four, in the film Dr. Strangelove, a character played by Slim Pickens rides which object through the air while Hooting and Waving a cowboy hat? Number five, the only Oscar won by Kubrick was Best Visual Effects Award, which he won for which film parodied by the Barbie movie? Number five, the only Oscar won by Kubrick was for Best Visual Effects Award, and he won that for which film, which was parodied by the Barbie movie? All right, moving on to also a chess piece. Each correct response includes the name of a chess piece. Number six, which word can be defined as a, pierce, as a piercing through the antihelix of the ear? Number six, which word can be defined as a piercing through the antihelix of the ear? Number seven, possessing the ability to absorb energy, which member of the X-Men is depicted as an Aboriginal Australian? Number seven, possessing the ability to absorb energy, which member of the X-Men is depicted as an Aboriginal Australian? Number eight, coining its name as a play on words, which cable reality series spawned spinoffs, such as American Restoration and Counting Cars? Number eight, coining its name as a play on words, which cable reality series spawned spinoffs, such as American Restoration and Counting Cars? Number nine, what is the stage name of the Oscar-nominated performer Dana Owens? Number nine, what is the stage name of the Oscar-nominated performer Dana Owens? 
And number 10, adjectives such as scarlet and black precede which word in the nicknames of major college football teams? Adjectives such as scarlet and black precede which word in the nicknames of major college football teams? Those are all your questions on Stanley Kubrick and also a chess piece. We'll be right back with the answers after this. We are back with the answers to Stanley Kubrick and also a chess piece to combo rounds from my friend Matt Frost at patreon.com slash poorhouse trivia, P-O-U-R. Go check it out and join his page. It is fantastic. The amounts of questions and categories he's come up with over the years and posted on that Patreon for not very much a month. Go see, go check it out. Number one, a slave of the first century BC is the title character, title uh, chapter or character. Well, it's the character. I thought I was saying it was the chapter. I might have said chapter in the questions. Whatever. It's the title character of which epic film directed by Kubrick? Spartacus. Spartacus. Number two, which three-word film is defined as a lead bullet encased in a harder metal, such as steel? Full metal jacket. Number three, starring two performers who were married to each other at the time. What was the final film from Kubrick? Eyes Wide Shut. Number four, in Dr. Strangelove, Slim Pickens rides an object through the air while hooting and waving a cowboy hat. It's a bomb. And number five, the only Oscar won by Kubrick was Best Visual Effects Award. He won that for which film parodied by the Barbie movie? 2001 A Space Odyssey. And moving on to also a chess piece, number six, which word can be defined as a piercing through the anti-helix of the ear? Rook. Rook. Number seven, possessing the ability to absorb energy, which member of the X-Men is depicted as an aboriginal Australian? Bishop. Bishop. Number eight, coining its name as a play on words, which cable reality series spawned spinoffs such as American Restoration and Counting Cars? Pawn Stars. Pawn Stars. Number nine, what's the stage name of the Oscar-nominated performer Dana Owens? Queen Latifah. And number ten, adjectives such as scarlet and black precede which word in the nicknames of major college football teams? That would be Knights. Knights. And there you have it, a fun 10-question quiz from Poor House Trivia. Thanks for listening along today. Your fact of the day is, up to the early 20th century, young boys in the Western world wore dresses. The first time they were allowed to put on trousers was considered a rite of passage. If you didn't know that, now you know. And the letter was J, items you save up to buy. How about a jaguar or jewelry? Things you replace, uh, jelly in jars or jams at your house when you eat a lot of toast. And personality traits, jovial. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. We'll see you next time for more trivia with Buds. Cheers. Cheers.